The first thing you need to do is open a profile chart. So you can either add it to an existing trade space or create a new one. And here I have a blank trade space. I'm going to click Setup, choose Profile Chart, type in a symbol, and say New Profile Chart and give it a name. And save. And you can go ahead and close this. And it'll, it'll open a sample chart for you with some default settings. First thing you need to know to do is you can click up here in this title bar or click the ellipsis to open up and you can click settings. This is where you can change the symbols or change the bracket uh, length. Right now by default it's set to 30 minutes. Clicking settings you get sessions, features, splits, uh, TPO colors, and miscellaneous. Let's focus on sessions first. Based on the symbol you typed in, you will be given a list of sessions. This is part of the advanced session management that, that is built in, and you can see which sessions are available. So these are the three e-mini S&P sessions, and you can choose which one you want to start each new day with. So uh, by default here, it's selected Globex Night. Um, and that's where I'll leave it. Um, so you can change it. Only one of these boxes can be selected. Choosing it will adjust it in real time in the background. Uh, and then over here on the right, and this is a scrolling area, there are three profiles. Profile 1, 2, and 3. Notice there's a visible checkbox. If it's not checked, you won't see that profile. So I have profile one checked and it's all sessions. If I just wanted to see the day session I would uncheck the night session and then the Globex session only displaying the day session and you can see that it does change in real time. If I close this it takes away the, uh, the faded screen and you can see it and now begin using the charts. Um, but going back um, I can turn those back on which I'll do and that gives me my composite or all sessions setting. Now if I check the visible for profile 2, it's essentially going to show me a replica because they're all checked. Notice this is profile 1, this is profile 2. If I uncheck day, it'll show me um, it'll show me just the evening sessions. So this is all three sessions. This is just the two overnight sessions. And if I scroll down to profile three and uncheck the two overnight sessions, now I have just a day session. So here we are just a day today. We're just about at the end of the trading day. Here's the overnight session and this would be the composite. So not everybody's going to want to look at it this way and there are further options to customize these. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Um, and to do that, if I go to features, you can see under features there's profile 1, 2, and 3. And each profile gives us the options we want to see. So for instance, maybe you don't want to see the volume profiles on these two. So if I go up here and I just uncheck them, it'll take them off. So here's our day session, this is our overnight session, and this would be our composite with our composite profile. And you can turn off the candles, you can turn off, you know, whatever you want. Maybe you just, you just want to see, um, get rid of all these. Now notice, if I uncheck them all, we don't see them. So you at least want to have probably TPO profiles checked. There's the TPO profile. And if I go back to session, Notice where it says follow split button. That is only checked for profile one. So you see the split button is right here. If I click splits, what it does, it splits our composite because that was what was specified, but it does not split our overnight and day. Now we could have these follow the splits as well, or just this one and keep these collapsed. There's many different options. I'll click the split again to undo that. Click settings and you can see um, these are the split buttons. So that's where that's that's where that's specified. 
So to keep this nice and clean, I'm going to actually uncheck uh, profile uh, 3 as well as 2. And let's just view the day session for our profile 1. Just we'll simplify this a little bit. Going back to features, uh, if I scroll down, there are a few you didn't see, which is the initial balance extensions. You can see um, what it does, it takes the initial balance and adds 150% and then 200% on each side of it to give you uh, targets based on the initial balance. Splits. What this does is allows us to specify when the profiles are split, what do we want to see? So if it's just TPO bar, you'll just see the split TPO letters. But if you want to also see a volume profile next to each split, as well as a bar candle, you just check these and notice you can do that for profiles 1, 2, and 3. They can all be different. So I'm just, we're only displaying profile 1. I'm going to close that and I'm going to go ahead now and click splits. You can see clicking splits splits out each 30 minute bracket, puts a mini volume profile, which is a 30 minute volume profile next to it, and it also puts a candle next to it. It continues to draw the value area and POC across. We have everything else here um, that we specified in the features. So this is a nice little way and you can do this. We could turn off the TPOs and candle and just view 30 minute uh, volume profiles and let's do that. Notice if I go here and turn off TPO and candle, there are the profiles. So it's very flexible. This is really a lot more than just TPO charts. Um, there's many different ways you might get these to look and configure. Remember, we're just looking at profile one. There's profile two and three that we could add with different settings. So it's really neat to explore the various options you have within here. It's much more feature rich than what you uh, initially expect when you first look uh, at this. Okay, um, let's go ahead and look at TPO colors. This is checked. This will just show us a single color. You can see as I click through here, it changes the color. Going back, TPO colors. If we uncheck this, it'll allow us to then scroll. This is a scrolling window, and you can set a color for each letter. And it's popular to set a group of letters the same color, maybe the open, midday, and close. You can, you can do it that way as well. So I'm going to stick with a single color and white for now. Going to miscellaneous, we can specify what we want to use for a percentage of value area. This updates in real time, so it's 68 right now. If I said 95 to go out two standard deviations, you can see it updates in real time behind the scenes or behind the, um, the overlay. So I'm going to go back to 68. And this is where you can specify the colors of the TPOs and price, uh, value area, point of control, initial balance, and then those initial balance extensions. So um, that's, that's where all your color settings exist. A couple other things to bring to your attention is the date and the start time of this session that you have identified. Uh, is displayed at the top above the profile. There's also a zoom in and zoom out functionality. So I'll zoom, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out. Just keep clicking it and I'll undo the splits. You can scroll with your mouse. Um, you can scroll back in time with the arrow. And that'll just go back one profile at a time. And to go back, either one profile, you can click that, or if you just want to advance to current, click that. Note, when you advance to current, sometimes you need to just scroll up or down to bring the current profile into view. We sincerely hope you enjoy using these new profile charts within Market Delta Cloud. Um, it is also popular to use this alongside Market Delta Desktop if you have that platform as well. Um, you just need to get a second trading login uh, from your broker get inside here, make the purchase of this one-time add-on, and then you can run it in a browser or even on another computer alongside Market Delta Desktop. Thanks and make a great day.